When I woke up, there was a mysterious box on my studio couch. I had no idea what the contents of this box would be. I'm not even sure I will know exactly what it is even by the end of this video. So if you can make a guess in the comment section below, hit the like button, and most importantly, ring the notification bell by the subscription button, we can get closer to the truth and find a higher sense of meaning in life. I could sense a dampened smell of electronic circuitry and old wooden furniture as if it had been stored in an attic. It was the smell of nostalgia. And as I proceeded to further unpack the contents of the box, the realization came to me that it may very well be a magic music making machine. Wow, it seemed someone had sent me an NPC. Jokes aside, my first NPC was a 2000. I never had the NPC 2500, but my buddy Tape Rock did, and hearing the stuff he made with it was awe-inspiring at the time. Check out our old album, Dynamite Soul, that we made, and also his band camp. There are some real bangers on there, all made with the 2500. So, when I came across the used one, as I'm an adult with most of my shit together nowadays, I decided to buy the experience I had never had in my youth. Powering it up, I was amazed at the size of the screen. It feels like they put a magnifying glass on the 2000 XL. Very comfortable for the eyes. Although I'm not a big fan of the Game Boyish green in this context. If we're gonna go as far as to compare it with the MPC 500, got another synthesizer sound here. This right here is like a cinema screen. You can see what you're doing. It truly was a joy to go back in time and experience the familiar physical touch of these knobs, buttons, and pads. There's nothing like a well beat up legacy pad sheet. It feels like home to me. Sample editing on the 2500. Uh, it's not a far stretch from the 2000 to 2000 XL. It's got the basic sample edit functionalities. I think the biggest difference from the previous generation NPCs is the introduction of the chop chop, in which you can let your MAPA C automatically detect the transients and chop the sample up for you. This is a little bit trial and error to be honest, but you can also choose to slice it up in even parts, in like 16 parts for example. I believe you could do that on the 2K XL as well in the zone edit. So that's nothing new, but see, this is the result of something like using the automatic chop shop. It's just a, it's a mess. I, I'm sure that if you become a pro with this, with these parameters, you can get a better sense of which settings to use here. Overall, nothing revolutionary. Another nice addition compared to previous models here is that you have quite an amount of filters and effects compared to the older. NPCs. The quality of them is, uh, uh, and you have two buses at your disposal, so anytime you can have two effects loaded up in the memory, and then you'll have to bus any of the sounds out to one of the two. Another nice addition is the Q Link sliders and knobs, to which you can assign quite a few parameters. Then, as you slide them, you can even record the automation. All this is in the original OS, and I'm sure you've heard of the JJOS XL operating system. If you want to flex, if you insist on using one of these old machines right about around here, I suggest you check that out if you want to expand on it. The 2500 is well connected with the MOF, <coughs> with its stereo input for sampling, stereo out for sound listening, digital SPDIF ins and outs, eight separate mono outputs, USB connection, four MIDI outs, and two MIDI ins. And I really like that they put the headphone output in the front, along with two foot switch inputs for when you wanna trigger something from another room. 
The main storage medium is compact flash on this joint, maybe a little bit outdated by now. You can pop a mechanical hard drive in it and expand it with a CDR drive, which you can actually sample from. Pretty cutting edge at the time. If you're sampling records, which is what I would expect you to be doing with a device like this, it's really worth mentioning the cover stand that Akai made on the 2500. It allows you to appreciate the history of what you're sampling in its entirety and easily read the credits on the back of the cover. This, that, the more. Hey, hey buddy, listen, you might not want to hear what I'm about to tell you. Work life is boring. Your friends don't have time to play online games with you. Paradoxically, you're also looking to spend less time in front of the computer, but romance is a little bit slow. It's hard being imaginative in the kitchen to enjoy the simpler pleasures of life. No new episodes of 90 Day Fiance, hello. So you found a used MPC 2500 and started painting pictures in your mind. Of the new levels of intuitive hands-on music production it would take you to, and you watch this video to get more pumped up with endorphins around your purchase decision. That was me, but here's my truth. I was bored with it after a week. Craving a standalone unit, the modern alternatives like the Machina or the current MPC line are just so much more convenient, and I'm too spoiled with these luxuries. It was like a stick in the wheel for my workflow, Things like file management, tracking out the stems at the push of a button, an extensive library of bread and butter sounds, and effects to quickly shape the sound as you want it, good effects at that, are a must for me these days. It was a fun trip down memory lane and the nostalgic factor is high on this one, but it's like watching the Goonies for the 50th time as a 30 year old, it never really gets as good as the memory of it. I'll say this, if your music is sparse in editing, you sample a lot of your own sounds, maybe you are sequencing a MIDI unit or two, this is still a very powerful box. But even then you have to really enjoy the process of getting immersed in pressing the buttons, chopping the samples, setting the programs up, tracking the beats out when you're done for it, everything that it takes for it to be worth sacrificing the convenience of the modern day technology, you know what I'm saying? MPC 2500. Three out of five on the Amazing scale. Thank you to watching. Please hit the subscribe and ring the notification bell and smash that like. YoTube is cracking down hard right now on valuing its citizens. So it's difficult out here for a low class person like me. If you enjoy the content, please do that. It really helps me out. Big one thank you to all my patrons. You are the lords of the world. You know what I'm saying? Join us in the Discord, the black hole. Okay, bye-bye. Okay,